I'm going to describe the control screen on the journey. In this single screen, we can control everything on the coach. Let's go through some of the information. On the main screen that's selected right now, we can see the resources available, that being your fresh water, how much is in your gray and black tanks, as well as your diesel fuel on the chassis. Below that, you can control some of those water functions like your water pump, turn on the aqua hot, what's the source of energy for the aqua hot. We also have a hot water recirculation system so you can uh, conserve your fresh water and have hot water readily available at the faucets or the shower. In the middle here, we start off with basic electrical information. What are my battery voltage levels? And then what is my primary source of electrical energy? Right now you can see 15 amp shore power. Below that would be basic weather information, where you're located. We're filming inside a building, so I don't have a GPS location, but that would tell you the local weather where you're parked. You have some other functionality here to the right, some basic things like a light master, turn all the lights on or off, uh, lock the bays, the bedroom ceiling fan, and some other things available there. If we go to the electrical screen, this is laid out with um, getting to your generator, how to set your uh, schedules if you need to. There's a settings button here, control your inverter. Again, it tells you what the primary energy source at that moment on the coach, as well as the quality of that electrical uh, power coming in. To the right, again, repeat of your battery information, both the house battery and the chassis battery. Below that on the right is information in terms of what equipment is available with that power source. So right now with 15 amp service, you can see pretty much everything is available except the air conditioning. I can either only run front or rear, but with 15 amps, I can't run all the air conditioning. If you had the generator on or 50 amp service, then everything would show green. If I only had 12 volts on, no inverter, all these green circles would be uh, round circles without color, and that would show everything except interior lights, USB, and vent fans. Those are the only things available with only 12 volts. I turn the inverter on, some more equipment becomes available like the microwave and the refrigerator, and then as I run the generator or different levels of shore power, more things become available. We'll move on to the climate control. I can control the front temperature, the rear temperature, a simple uh, temperature selection. The fan settings can be auto, low, high, as well as the air conditioning. Again, I can control my aqua hot. What is the energy source for the aqua hot? And if you have the heated floor, you can control that from this screen. You can also uh, heat the bays down below with the aqua hot system. If we go to lighting, Lighting is pretty easy to navigate. We have three sections of the coach um, that'll bring up controls for the lights in those sections. You have the cab, the main part of the coach, and then the rear end of the coach. Um, each of these lights indicate what I can turn on and off. If there's the arrows here, I hold the button and it'll dim and brighten. You release the button at the proper the level you desire. I, I can also control my exterior lights from the screen. Again, a light master. And there's a theater mode. That'll dim everything in the lounge and the galley and bring up the TV in the lounge. This tab is for those mechanical functions. If I want to move slide outs, awnings, or the jacks, I can come to this screen, accept the warning, and control those devices. Uh, there's an information tab. On this tab, you will uh, get a QR code that will take you to a journey website, Winnebago journey website. There you can get information and access to the, the Winnebago Connect app, as well as other information such as manuals, schematics, um, service information, and other reference information is available specific for the journey um, on that website. Finally, there's a settings tab which will allow you to set the screen in cleaning mode, give you pin information for the app, and um, also uh, the screen saver mode. You can set the timing how long that screen will be on. 
Everything I can control on this screen, I can also control on my mobile device, on my cell phone, with Winnebago Connect. I can control things near field, where if I'm close to the coach, let's say I want to move a slide out out or an awning out, I can stand outside the coach and move that equipment out. I can sit at my patio on my chair and control all the lights in the coach inside and out. Anything that I can control on this screen, I can control on my mobile device near field. I also can go far field, away from the coach, and control th certain things. You won't be able to move slide outs in and out, or awnings, uh, or jacks if I'm away from the coach, but I can turn lights on and off, I can open uh, or unlock the bay doors, I can do other functions from far field. I can adjust the temperature if Fido's on the coach and I forgot to turn the air conditioning on, I can turn that on and adjust the temperature while I'm shopping in a store or on a hike.